we got a lovely, look at that crumbly, crumbly short crust pastry. That is sensational. Look at that. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are doing a Lancashire classic. It's been around forever. We're making the Charlie Cake. Now we've made Eccles cakes before, a Charlie cake is a short crust pastry cake and it's not as sweet as an Eccles cake. And we are doing it in the High Sapientia air fryer today. Okay, we need to crack on and make the short crust pastry. Now we're making a sweet version of this. I've got my salt, I've got my flour, I've got my butter and shortening and that is a tablespoon of sugar. In we go and we get mixed up. So just bring it all together, nice and steady. Now, the thing is with the Charlie cake, you know, it's affectionately known as the fly pie. <laughs> and you know why. You know, it's normally made with currants or originally made with currants, but you can use raisins. It doesn't matter. If you want to be more traditional, just stick with currants. So pastry, as usual, rub together fingers and thumbs, lift up and drop it. Let it drop down naturally, just nice and steady through there. And we want those nice, fine breadcrumb consistency as always. So the one tablespoon of sugar that's in this makes this no fail rich short crust pastry to a sweet short crust pastry. Obviously it's not over sweet, it's only one tablespoon of sugar, but perfect for sweet things like apple pies or anything like that. Now a full explanation of the ingredients. There will be a link in the description for the pastry and you can see why I make my pastry my way and it is no fail it never fails there we go that's easy enough okay in here i've got my water apple cider vinegar and egg just give it a beat add that to that turn your fork over use the handle stir in okay time to get the hand in bring it together nice and gently it'll come together so there we go five minutes pastry made in there now the Filling is currants, but if you don't have currants, use raisins. Don't stress about it. To that, we want to add our sugar. I'm using white granulated sugar, bog standard, that you use all the time. And to that, I'm adding some melted butter. That's going to give us a savory type flavor, as well as sweet. Now, we just want to give that a nice mix through. That will do. Oven on at home, 190 or 200, round about there. 380, 400, up to you. We're gonna bake for about 15 minutes, but you have to preheat. So on here, we are going for 180, and we're going to preheat. Straight on with the pastry, I'm gonna roll it out. And I'm just on the countertop because I wanna roll it out long. Now, I'm rolling it out long. It's just gonna make it easier to work with. And I'm gonna roll it all out. Now, I'm using this huge disc cutter today, okay? It's a six 
inch cutter. Normally a Charlie pie or a Charlie cake is about four inch, but you know, we're gonna go for a six inch on mine today. So we'll just cut some of these out and then we know where we're at. And then we're gonna re-roll that pastry and make as many as we can. Right, you need to have a tray and you need to put some baking paper on your tray. We just put the filling in our pastry. So this is a four inch cutter and we're just gonna Put some more of that in there so we've got a nice deep layer of fruit like that do the same on all of these really you could have just put this on and and done, done this but not to worry this is just a, an idea that I use all the time now chocolate cakes differ wherever you are you know, they are very bog standard. This is the bog standard way of making it. Um, and then you just fold it up and then squash it down, roll it out. So we want a little bit of water on there. And that's going to stick our pastry. Now, when I say the, the difference, some people egg wash, some people milk wash, some people use egg whites, some people put sugar on. The, there are many different variations, however, a good variation is just the pastry with a little bit of a milk wash. So all we do with our Charlie cake is we do that. We just pull all those corners up like that. It's same as an Eccles cake, really, you know. They're all made very much the same. Just squash it in like that. And then we're going to turn it over. And we're going to give it a nice little roll in to about four inch. Now you can do all of this with your hand, look. Same again. Just bring up, squash together. Okay, now these have to vent. So we want to put about three lines in the top, three cuts in the top. That's about the usual pattern of a Charlie cake. They're quite thin tops these actually, I pressed them down too much, but not too worry. So in we come three of those and we want to just take some milk and we're going to milk wash these try and keep them a light golden Some people like to put sugar on there, but you know, traditionally a Charlie cake is not covered in sugar. The Eccles cake has sugar on. So that's our Charlie cakes. Let's get them in the oven. Now we are in there for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 15 minutes and then we'll have a look at, okay? We're at 180 for 15 minutes. Okay, that's good enough. Let's have that out of there. Oh, they look absolutely fantastic. That's Charlie cakes made. Let's just cut one in half. We got a lovely look at that crumbly, crumbly short crust pastry. That is sensational. Look at that. So all we got to do now is get in and give it a taste test. So there we are. This is a traditional way to eat Charlie cakes or other affectionately known as fly pie. 
you know you'll get a nice crumbly Lancashire cheese or if you can't get that get a sharp cheddar anything that you like really and then we just get stuck in it's just a short sweet short crust pastry with some currants in or raisins whatever you've used what does it taste like I think we know what it tastes like mmm Delicious. <laughs> Delicious buttery pastry. That is superb. Full of currants or raisins, whatever you use. Not overly sweet because this one's not sweet. You know, and you serve it with cheese. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. That's traditional Charlie cakes all the way from Lancashire. Absolutely superb. You've got that buttery shortcuts pastry, full of currants, slightly sweetened. They're not overly sweet, not like its counterpart, the Eccles cake. It's delicious. Serve it up with some nice mature cheddar or Lancashire cheese. You've got yourself a perfect cheese board dish if you like what we're doing don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff we'll catch you in the next video